So right now I'm in the process of upgrading my system from the 2019 Mac Pro to the new Mac Studio with the M2 Ultra chip in it. So the question that would be asked is what monitors am I going to use with this? So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on this new monitor from BenQ. And just to get it out of the way, I am a BenQ ambassador. I'm not paid to do this specific video and I'm not told what to say or anything like that. My main monitor is the 32 inch BenQ SW321C. But the one I really want to focus on today is my latest monitor and this is the 27 inch. It is the PD2706UA and the PD means professional designers. There's a few things I found very exciting about the PD2706UA and one of them is this ergo arm. If you look at this arm, I can put my monitor into just about any position I want. I can bring it forward, I can push it back, I can move it side to side. So right now I've actually moved it off to the side so the camera can see through, but I can just articulate it however I want. And the other thing I love is how easily I can quickly flip it vertical. And this is great for creating things like TikToks and Instagram Reels and uh, YouTube Shorts, where a lot of the short form stuff now is vertical. So I can flip it vertical, I can set the monitor to display vertically. So a lot of the time I have my main monitor in front of me horizontal, and then I have the second monitor vertical. I also like it for scrolling emails and writing and different things like that. So I'll flip it around, but it's very, very easy to do that. But as you can see with the Ergo Arm, it also contains all the cables, so you can put everything in there so you don't have this mass of cables. Now, one of the things you might have noticed is I've got a little bit of wood there because I've got it on a glass top table. Now, I was talking to a contractor. He said, well, you know, hey, tempered glass, you really don't have to worry about it. It's very strong, particularly when you've got it on the curved surface. But I just wanted to be extra sure, so I went down Home Depot, I got a extra piece of wood, and then I kind of put that on the arm just to spread the weight and even that out because I'm just kind of super paranoid about that. And I've had absolutely no issues of that with it on the glass. So if you are gonna put it on glass, you know, kind of make sure that it's properly tempered and, uh, and you install it properly. Another thing I love about this is the KVM mode. That stands for keyboard, video, and mouse. So what I'm actually able to do is set up one mouse. I'm actually using a Logitech mouse here. And so I put the USB reader onto the monitor and you can do the same thing with the keyboard if you wish. So I'm attaching it to an HDMI and a USB. Now I'm able to take a USB-C cable and attach it to different devices. Say for example, my MacBook Pro. And at one touch, I can change the monitor to display the MacBook Pro, or I can tap and go back and use it on my Mac Pro. It also works on Windows. Here I'm using my MSI laptop and it works perfectly. And it even works on an iPad. And so the USB-C is actually 90 watts, so I can actually charge any of my laptops, my iPad, or just plug a phone in there and also charge it. Now there's a hotkey puck that I can use that has buttons, fully programmable, and a rotation dial that I can use for switching between different monitors. I can even do things like picture beside picture or picture in picture, where literally I can have my Mac and a Windows on the same screen at the same time. Um, I can also go through different color modes. And there's some interesting color modes. We have an e-paper mode, which represents kind of like what you would see on a Kindle or something like that. Animation mode, where it enhances the clarity of dark areas without overexposing light regions. Then there's cam mode, which gives you more contrast between lines and shape for technical illustrations. And that's also good for text and different things like that. So the monitor itself is an Ultra HD 4K IPS LED monitor. And it supports 95% P3 color space, which the P3 is the color space used for the MacBook Pro, iPads, so we've got nice compatibility with the colors. It also supports 99% sRGB and Rec. 709. Rec. 709, of course, is for video. And it also has HDR 400, so we can see some of those really bright areas and we can also, you know, view and work with some of the HDR content. So if you're a Mac user, one of the nice features is the M-Book mode. The M-Book mode, when you connect to a MacBook, MacBook Pro or Air or whatever, 
it's actually going to sync the colors so the color management is going to be the same on the monitor as what you see on the display on your mac so it's going to be very consistent so as far as con color consistency benq is known for its color consistency from edge to edge some monitors you're going to see you know different variations from the middle towards the edges of the monitor whereas it's very consistent all the way from the corners to the inside on the benq monitors and this particular one here has delta 3 col color accuracy now all the BenQ monitors come factory calibrated um, with a calibration chart right out of the box but it can also be calibrated and it even supports the brand new Calibrite uh, Display Plus HL which is high luminance. So if you're working with a MacBook Pro and you want to be able to dock it or you're looking for something for the Mac Studio or maybe the Mac Mini and you're looking for some kind of a display, I feel like this is a great display to consider because of its flexibility and the different things that you can do with it. So this monitor is a great monitor for a designer or somebody working with graphics or even, you know, doing social media, creator, um, a serious hobbyist. You know, you're working with graphics, you're working with photographs, you're not really printing, you're mostly sharing your stuff online, uh, doing a lot of digital kind of work this is going to be a great monitor for you. If you're doing a lot of print work as a photographer and you need very, very accurate colors for print, then consider the SW series of monitors, which are really designed specifically more for that towards the Adobe RGB color spaces. But for everything else, this monitor is just going to be really great. So uh, check it out. And currently BenQ are partnering with Pantone on promotion where you get one year of Pantone Connect Premium for free. And if you've bought a qualifying monitor before, you can actually still get that as well. So I am going to be doing some speed tests and some comparisons between different systems with the Mac Studio M2 Ultra. If there's anything you'd like me to test or you're curious about, just drop that in the comment underneath and I'll see if I can accommodate that in an upcoming video. So let me know your thoughts in the comments underneath. And uh, if you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. You won't miss any videos from me. Until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.